Hey guys, Amy and Loie here laughing because I told her to push it, meaning push the record button, and then it got us off in a singing push it kind of playful tangent mood. Um, so, you know, push it from the 1980s, that song that I know so well. <laughs> So anyway, you know, here we are just singing Push It and um, trying to give you your playful experiment for the week. So this week, your playful experiment is going to be Would You Rather, but we're going to do it with values. Um, and Louie's shaking all around. Can't help it. I'm <laughs> cold. Okay. All right. Um, sun is going down. Things are getting cold. So, all right. You are going to do Would You Rather, you know, the game that we all know so well. Like, would you rather whatever, swallow a booger or swallow some nails? I don't know. <laughs> would you rather? Um, which is a fun game in and of itself. So you can play a round or two of that just doing, you know, total goof style. Would you rather as a reward after you're done with your values one? But the values one is cool to do. It's a different twist. Um, you're going to look up some basic human values, all right? Plenty of um, lists on online, anywhere you look, you know, you can say list of human needs, list of human values, um, the Nonviolent Communication uh, Center, I believe it's like cnvc.org, uh, probably has a list like this. They used to have a list like this on their website. So you're gonna find a list because, you know, in case you can't think of them out of thin air, but you can also think of your own out of thin air too. Things that you value, things that are basic things, um, you know, human needs and um, yeah, whatever. Things that contribute to the substance of life. Like belonging or, you know, you value a sense of belonging or you value a sense of productivity or maybe you value a sense of serenity or you value a sense of laughter or humor. All these kind of things are in that category of things that you value or being touched or having like heartfeltness or closeness or intimacy or um, things like practicality, simplicity. Um, all these kind of things. And you're going to ask, would you rather this or this to your partner? So it'll kind of go like this. And I'm going to look this up because I just want to pick. Okay. So would you rather have authenticity or purpose? Authenticity. Okay. All right. Would you rather have growth or aliveness? Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh man. Right? You see? Um you see? Probably aliveness, actually. Now, I mean, all right, cool. Like your, you know, like like that you tried to answer anyway, even though it was a hard one. Because see, mm -hmm. all of them are going to be hard because these are all things that we value. I mean, that's why I want you to look at a list. I mean, this list has got things like creativity, honesty, closeness, attention, appreciation, self-knowledge, um, kindness, mutual recognition, care, compassion, like I said before, efficiency, practicality, intelligence. Uh, productivity, uh, sense of purpose, you know, these are all things that are like important to all of life. And so it is really hard to pick between them, which then makes this all the more of an interesting game because what you're doing is kind of realizing your priorities, you know, like, ooh, even though both are totally important, if I had to pick, I guess I would go with authenticity rather than what was the other one purpose, purpose. you know, so I would, and then it kind of gives you a priority in your life. Like, okay, so being authentic is something more important than like finding my purpose in life, you know? So, but it might go the other way. Like finding my purpose in life is more important than being authentic. So I could try on a million different purposes, even if they don't really feel like me, because I really need to find the purpose thing. Cause that's more important to me. But instead with the authenticity one, it's like, no, I need to just be me and be authentic. And in the moment, as long as I'm being me and like really staying true to me, I don't have to worry about a purpose like that kind of is the purpose in and of itself, you know, um, and that also raises another point. Sometimes you'll have to realize because um, two sound almost the same, like growth or aliveness. When I gave that one to her, I was like, "Ooh, that one would be really hard for me because they almost mean the same thing to me. 
Yeah. They almost mean the same thing. Ooh, what does that tell me? It kind of tells me that those two are linked. Like in order to have growth, I need to feel alive or in order to feel alive, I need to have growth. Which way? Which way? You know, which one of those is the true statement? And then, so for me, it's like in order to feel alive, I have to have growth. So that's why they're related. That's why they almost feel like the same thing. But what that does mean is that... um maybe growth is first because I have to have the growth first in order to even get to the aliveness, you know, like really? Yeah. Okay. So you have to feel alive Alive to to be willing to grow or to like have the motivation to grow. Yeah. Okay. And that does make sense. We are like that. We are definitely (laughs) reversed like that where, you know, I'm like, come on, let's do this for growth. And she's like, uh, I gotta have some aliveness before I'm like ready to do the growth. You know, like I can't buckle down and do the discipline thing of growth until I'm feeling alive. And I'm like, I've got to do the discipline thing. I can't get to that feeling freedom and aliveness until I like, you know, get in there with some discipline and do that thing that like grows me, like eat my vegetables, you know? Um, So anyway, that does make sense. But you see how this goes, right? And you see how this can be really cool because you do start to see which of your values are linked, which one can't happen without the other. And it also shows you a priority too, like which one comes first, like a hierarchy. Um, Yeah, and it's just kind of cool to see how you answer differently too because the other person is going to answer differently and you can share your experience just like we did. So enjoy playing around with some values, some basic human values, basic human needs, um, you know, and seeing how you can play. Would you rather, would you rather have this or that? Uh, it does, it teaches you tons about yourself, I think. Plus and others. Yeah. And it gives you direction. It sort of like lets you appreciate the differences between you and others. And it kind of gives you direction and like more understanding of like where you stand and, and what things need to happen first for you, you know, cause there's like too many things in life to concentrate on. I mean, you take one list of this or one look at this list of values and you'll be like, I love them all. Like, no wonder, like life feels like such a spinning circle of like trying to do it all. You know, we're all trying to do it all because it all sounds good. But like when you do this, it just like helps sort of clear the table and be like, all right, but like these are the things that are more important to me. I actually did this, you know, side note. Sorry, we're just like going (laughs) Going on and on on now. No, this is actually pretty. (laughs) I, I wouldn't do this to you if it wasn't like something I think is a really good ad. I mean, I told you I'm Morty, but, but this is a really important ad. I actually did this with someone where we went through every single one and played them off of each other, like heats in a swimming race or whatever, you know, where, okay, we did the whole list of all the values. We did one against the other. And then the winner got into the second column. And then we played all the winners off of all the other winners. And we like whittled it down to one. We played every winner off of every winner and went all the way down to one so that we would know the prime directive, like the prime directive that is the biggest priority for me in all of my values. Um, And mine actually was to be touched. It one out above all the others is like to be touched, to, to touch and be touched. Um, so, and I don't mean physically, I mean like spiritually, you know, emotionally touched, like, wow, that touched my heart, you know? Uh, so anyway, if you want to go that far with it, like have at it. I mean, it's, it's a really cool thing. Even if you just do it for yourself later, um, you know, it is a really cool thing to like whittle it down and to see like, ah, and here's the prime directive in my life, you know? All right. See how you like it.